We're talking to Mr. James Settles, the uh, founder and the executive director of Atheist House. And of course, Mr. Settles, let's uh, continue our <coughs> first uh, the conversation from our first uh, segment by having you to uh, perhaps uh, address one of the uh, real problems that we find among our young people today. And I think it goes back to uh, what you described as uh, your own personal mentality, that is to right. get rich uh, or die trying. And I say that because that's a very, very popular uh, concept and a movie and et cetera that a large number of individuals are sort of attracted to. And so let's talk about it from that perspective. Yeah, well, I think in a lot of ways, I, I think a, a lot of it has to do with our mentality and the way that we think. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, one of the, that's one of the things that we address uh, at Ephesus House. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is the way we dress. Uh, part mm -hmm. of our dress code at Ephesus House is no braids, plaits, mm -hmm. nor sagging, uh, or things of that nature. Because what happens is a guy can try to go and get a job. Okay. And when he try to go and get a job like that, mm -hmm. they're not going to tell you that they're not going to give you a job mm -hmm. for uh, mm -hmm. uh, because of the way you're wearing your hair mm -hmm. or because of the way you're dressed. Mm -hmm. They're just not going to give you a job. Mm -hmm. And so you go <coughs> back and, and, and there you are sitting and wondering why you can't get any work. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things, not only do I talk about it, do we talk stress it at Ephesus House, but even when I go to the institutions, mm -hmm. I go to the institutions a lot myself. Mm -hmm and counsel with guys and and also uh, and, and one of the things that I, I noticed you got a lot of guys that are tattooed up that okay. are grilled mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and different things like that well a guy he wants to complain about saying that he can't get a job mm -hmm. at McDonald's uh -huh. I mean at nowhere but McDonald's uh -huh. but if you really want to try to get in management. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants you in management mm -hmm. with no braids mm -hmm. or with no grill. Mm -hmm. And and I think the tragedy is the 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 uh, the message that we send. Mm -hmm. And and I'm not mm -hmm. hating on people that uh, do rap music or mm -hmm. anything of that nature. Mm -hmm. and, and and I think when I say that, I say the tragedy mm -hmm. is this guy. He can tattoo his body up and wear. Uh, where the grill because you're going down there buying his CDs. Mm -hmm. Well, most young people, mm -hmm. you know, they're imitating this mm -hmm. and they can't even get a job because mm -hmm. they're starting from ground level. Mm -hmm. So I think we really have to be careful not only about the messages that we are sending, mm -hmm. the messages that we're sending, but I think we as parents, mm -hmm. we have to watch mm -hmm. what we're allowing our children to grow into because, mm -hmm. see, I've, I've come in contact with so many people that say that it's just a phase that mm -hmm. they'll grow out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't grow out of stuff, you grow into stuff. Uh -huh. And so, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's almost like allowing a kid to, uh, 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 whether it's tattoo his body mm -hmm. up or, 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 <coughs> or wear mm -hmm. his clothes any kind uh -huh. of way, okay. you know. Uh, because, see, all that says something about him. That trail, mm -hmm. I mean, really, I, and, I, and I say this with all honesty, that uh, I went and talked to uh, uh, some uh, football players at this mm -hmm. high school. Mm -hmm. And when you graduate from high school, uh. those are the most critical years mm -hmm. from high school to maybe 21 or 22 mm -hmm. in your life, whereas most people say, Man, I done graduated from high. Well, mm -hmm. really, it just began mm -hmm. because what you're doing then is you're setting a standard Good. for the rest of your life from mm -hmm. that point on. Mm -hmm. And so I just think that we have to be really careful mm -hmm. about uh, the stuff that we allow to, mm -hmm. uh, that seems so innocent. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 right now, I know even myself, I, I've had two, got mm -hmm. two boys, that, and mm -hmm. both have graduated from college, and, mm -hmm. and they, uh, still have a curfew if they're uh -huh. going to be in my house mm -hmm. because I can't be responsible mm -hmm. for a young man running, uh, ripping and running the streets mm -hmm. all times of the night mm -hmm. and allowing the blood to be mm -hmm. on my hand mm -hmm. about a situation like that. So um, it's just, I just think it's very important about mm -hmm. how we communicate to our young people, and especially mm -hmm. My generation, I really believe that we have done mm -hmm. our young people such a disservice mm -hmm. by not mm -hmm. uh, 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 being the proper role model mm -hmm. uh, that we uh, uh, mm -hmm. should have been. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I and I really, uh, I'm, I'm, I am really uh, sad mm -hmm. about that. And that's one of the reasons why I dedicate my life to doing mm -hmm. what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I've been in business over 11 years mm -hmm. after after I got out of prison after, mm -hmm. in 1993. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when I got out, I started going back into the institution. Mm -hmm. And most guys be like, man, <clears throat> there's no way I'll okay. be coming back in here after mm -hmm. staying uh, incarcerated over eight calendar years mm -hmm. and you're coming back. Well, one of the things that the Lord was dealing with me about is is that he who is greater or most okay. must be serving or most. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is I think God delivers us from things mm -hmm. and he don't just deliver us from things to constantly buy bigger houses and bigger cars. Okay. I mm -hmm. think he delivers us from things mm -hmm. so we can reach back mm -hmm. and try to share with mm -hmm. others that there's a way out. And when I say that, I struggle with drugs and mm -hmm. alcohol and uh, uh, started off trying to sell drugs, mm -hmm. but ended up getting caught up. Mm -hmm. And But I'm thankful that uh, I can honestly say that uh, mm -hmm. I haven't used drugs mm -hmm. since 1986. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and I think that's part of me trying to mm -hmm. really stay focused uh -huh. mm -hmm. to uh, uh, what is really happening. It's almost like, mm -hmm. you know, I've talked to a, a lot of people that uh, we, we act as if it's just a black thing, but it's really, okay. it's a mm -hmm. human thing. It and it's, mm -hmm. it's not just black people, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a human race deal. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, I'm always reminded of Dr. King, you know, uh, him and Malcolm X was having that conversation mm -hmm. and, and he was just, so uh, caught up in the human race okay. and, and, and I just think that's where we have to be mm -hmm. because you know it's not just about the black kid but mm -hmm. it's about any kid mm -hmm. that is uh, coming mm -hmm. up in a dysfunctional environment mm -hmm. and, and you being able to uh, mm -hmm. mentor and give some guidance to mm -hmm. uh, and when I say that I believe that every time that we come in contact with a person All right. that we are affecting them for the good mm -hmm. or the bad mm -hmm. and and I think that it's our job to uh, uh, really uh, be a light mm -hmm. whether it's uh, uh, to it's mm -hmm. being that light to any man mm -hmm. woman and child that we come in mm -hmm. contact with very good and you know of course uh, uh, Ms. Settles uh, we're getting ready for our second commercial break after which we'll come back and uh, have a third segment and we'll allow you to uh, continue this conversation. But I think essentially that's the kind of information we want. And we would also like to have some information during this uh, third segment in reference to uh, the house that you've established and some of the things that our audience might do in order to assist you. And we'll be back with you following this very, very short uh, commercial break. We're talking to Mr. James.